Hey, what's up? This is Phil Ebener with VideoSchoolOnline.com. Thank you for watching this quick little video. Uh, a friend and student, Stephen, he asked me some questions uh, online. He was asking about teaching online, and instead of responding via email, I thought I'd post a video for him to watch and for anyone else who's interested in teaching courses online to watch and get some reviews of how it works and how you know how I do it. Um, and so I've got six great questions, uh, six or seven, yeah, six great questions that I'll answer right now. And before, be sure you check out VideoSchoolOnline.com for great tutorials and great online courses. So the first question is why publish online content? I am a strong believer in you know the web and using the web for good to teach, to educate, uh, to basically bring to the masses education and so the reason why I publish online content is just because uh, I love teaching other people and at this point in time I didn't want to you know go out and try to teach in a high school or in a college setting just because I don't feel like I'm that experienced and I don't have enough time right at this moment to go get my certification or go get a master's degree um, but I am, I feel, an expert in video editing and video production in the things that I do as a professional filmmaker. And so I figured I can teach that to people online in online classes. So I found great, this great platform called Udemy and I thought, oh hey, I could teach an online video editing class. And I did it and sure enough, people started taking it and they started loving it and that kind of just sparked this whole project of teaching online and so the re the basic reason is that I just love teaching people I love creating video content and I love sharing it with the world so the second question is uh, what advantages or disadvantages does this have over traditional mediums uh, mostly advantages a I can teach uh, to people all across the world anyone uh, from around the world with an internet connection can take my classes and people do I have people taking my class in India and Africa and all around the world and that's awesome B once I te create a video it's there forever and so I don't have to get up the next morning and go to the next class or get up the next semester and teach the same class over and over it the classes that I teach are there online and I don't have to really do anything with them um, except answer questions that students have. And so it's really, really awesome. It's, it's, it has this like exponential factor to it where, you know, once I create it, it just expands forever, you know, as more and more people start taking the classes and it just keeps being used over and over. I guess the disadvantage is that it's harder to engage with your students because obviously in, in class you're face to face with your instructor and while we can email back and forth and send each other messages, I guess being in class really uh, does facilitate that sort of behave uh, that engagement and you know you have more of a relationship with your instructor so that's I guess one one disadvantage the challenges yes what are the challenges I guess the challenges are um, coming up with uh, the right topics that people want to learn like for example I created a green screen editing course and I you know I spent hours and hours creating this course which I thought would be very popular because as a video editor, I was always looking up, oh, how do you like fix green screen? How do you key out green screen in different programs and stuff? And uh, I figured people would take it, but it hasn't been my most popular class. Um, lots of people have taken it, but compared to my other classes like kinetic typography or just my basic video editing 101 class, um, those are way, way more popular. Um, and then I guess the challenge is for me personally is that I have a full-time job and this is just my side gig. I don't call it a job, I just call it side play. Uh, um, and you know, so after work I come here and I do this and it, it does take a lot of energy and you know, I have to be dedicated to it though because you know, once my classes are up I can't let my students down if they have questions or they're confused about anything. Uh, your next question is do people typically finish the course, why or why not? Um, I don't really uh, pay attention to that too much. It's not very easy on Udemy to see if my students are finishing the courses or not. Um, 
I can always ask them if they have, but I'll answer this uh, in regards to your next question is how do you measure the experience outcome of your students is that I know people are finishing my courses because they leave me great reviews and they show me projects that they finished because of my course or they tell me about projects they're working on. One student even got a job because of the class that she took from me. She's a student at USC and she took my video editing 101 course and she said because of that course she got a job that required Final Cut Pro editing skills and she's not even a film major or anything she just took the course because she wanted to and then she ended up getting this job because she took the course and it's things like that just you know keep me going keep me they make me want to do more courses and keep at it and create free content for people that don't want to pay and yeah I guess that's how I you know that's how I track if people finish the courses or not but that's the beauty about online education is because it's up to you people have to be self-motivated to finish a course and so there's two sides of it to it. The course content has to be great because if it's not great, the students aren't going to finish it. But at the same time, the students have to be motivated. And if they're not motivated enough to drive themselves to the computer or walk up and get on the computer, then they're not going to finish the course. And that's fine with me. I It's there for you if you want it. If not, you don't have to take it. And that's the beauty of online education. And your last question is, how do you engage with your students outside of my course? And I do that through this YouTube video and channel. I do it through my podcast. I do it through my website, videoschoolonline.com. Um, and so I engage with them through that. And, uh, you know, I try to get them involved on my Facebook page and all other aspects of social media. You know, it's an online world now, and the whole idea of online education is for it to be online. And so I engage with them through that, through email, and it's really awesome because I've created some friendships and some, you know, instructor students bonds through, you know, the online engagement. So thank you for watching. I hope with those at those answered your questions. Um, thank you for asking. If you have any other questions, please let me know. And for everyone on YouTube watching this, thank you for watching. Check out videoschoolonline.com for great tips and tricks uh, and all of my online courses. You'll get 50% off if you go to my website and sign up right now. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.